Welcome back to Backbone, where we requested some fresh air, and they opened a window and a geezer flew in. So that's fun. Uh, I wonder if this is unique because I respected all of the geezers, or if this is a um, normal thing. Blark. You got something for me? Honk. A note. Read it. <laughs> it's a letter from Renee. <laughs> Howard, if this reaches you, I am where I found you on your ass at nine every night. I showed the geezer your photo and told him to check the usual places. The unusual places. I was going to say, this is a very unusual place. Keep reading. I'm sorry I didn't come back that day. I was being followed. I'm worried about you. I've asked around, but you're holding out on me. Hope we can have tea together soon. R. How did you even find me? Rark. <laughs> Wish you could tell me where I am. Rark Grark. I can reply on the page that fell out. You'll take it back to Renee? Pronk. I, why are these my options? I kind of wish I didn't have options at all. We'll go with the first one. Does it give me, okay, it's giving me subsequent options, okay. Ape had an organic sample. He was cloning from it. It got into me, but I'm fighting. That's all I've got space for. Honk. Thanks, friend. Fly safe. Ark. You too. To you too. I got a feather. Hell yeah. I don't know what that'll do. Maybe I'll tickle the scientist's nose and make my dashing getaway. Oh, that's... That was slightly glitched. Uh, okay. Keep your strength up. Alright, time for me to eat. Soup. I hate soup. There's a piece of bread and some butter in packets, too. Look at the food. This will keep me alive, but it might destroy my will to live. Why? I don't know, they don't seem to want to kill me, so. It's a thick, it's thick, bland, and somehow grainy. I don't know why I would pocket the butter, but I'll pocket the butter. Butter. Might need the energy later. Eat the rest. Think I'm going to be sick. Oh. Thankfully, I am not, apparently. Hello? There, okay, I had to knock a second time. Yes? Please, tell me about who you really are. I suppose I owe you that much. Where to start? I'm a scientist. But there aren't many scientists like me. What does that mean? Don't be naive. Rodents do not become scientists. It's not illegal, but it may as well be. So Clarissa lets you do what you love? Exactly. I get to live out my calling, and maybe eventually prove my kind is capable of just as much as the others. So it's all worth it? Yes, it is. The chance to practice my craft to illuminate the darkness. It's what I've always wanted. And for others like me to get the chance one day. Clarissa kills people and sells their flesh to the apes. What are you talking about? Why would she do that? You're a scientist. You can work it out. Even if that's true and it's that simple, I'm sure she has a good reason for it. Can you hear yourself right now? 
Yes, but I remember what my life was before her. I felt like I was a slave to society. All you did was get a prettier master. Easy to say for someone who's never had a master at all. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It's not like rabbits are all slaves or something. Or that raccoons are dramatically better off. They don't seem to be. Your name is Bell. Yes, how did you know? Found an inscription in the book. The other thing might get me in trouble. Uh, I'd forgotten it was there. But yes, it's no real secret. Bloodworth gave it to you. And now I'm giving it to you. Maybe you'd have preferred a radio or something, but not much signal here. A hand-me-down from Clarissa. I'm touched. I know it's not much, but maybe you'll find something in the book you can use. I need to rest. As you wish. Thank you. I need to resist this. Fuck. This isn't that impactful, because I don't really know what they're doing, you know? Like, I don't expect them to explain everything. Oh, God. Unfortunately, the pixel art style means that that did not have enough detail at first. So it didn't, it looked like, also the animation just looked like I was getting stabbed. Not like it was a syringe for a biopsy or something. Yes, Miss Bloodworth. The artifact is responding to tests, yes. Of course, I'll be very careful. It was all for nothing. The act of existing is enough. There is only change. What are we now? One with the past incarnations of self, one with the visions of future never lived, one with the myriad of identities we've chosen and those that were chosen for us. We are one. I need to get out today. I refuse to die here. It's a dirty, dirty toilet with a sink on top of it. Soak the bandage in water. I don't know why this would help, but maybe this will help. Now what should I do with it? It's a stained and st it's stained and stiff with blood, my blood. Is that it? A wet bandage. All right. Come on, I know you're in. I know you're there. Howard, how are you feeling? What do you think? I can only imagine. In any case, please get ready for the next round of test. We'll start soon. It's interesting that he's talking in multi, uh, in, in, um, he's saying we instead of me or I. Plural, not singular. Um, I don't know. They haven't been mean to us. Like, are they complicit in all this? Yes, but making them, making them out to be, could would they, you know, like from our perspective, be villainous? Absolutely. But in the absence of malice, and their worst crime being seeming to be complicity in crime treating them with tr treating them badly just doesn't seem to be very productive at the very least um 
they don't seem like the type to be guilt tripped out of out of uh, you know in, into changing their attitudes or their mind I think the only way if they were going to get you were going to get through to them I think the only way would be with kindness but we don't blame you for this thank you Howard I wasn't asking for forgiveness but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't relieved to hear that we are ready Did we miss a... There was a brief blink on the screen there, like like something happened, but there wasn't a scene that played. And I didn't touch anything, so I didn't accidentally skip it. If it was skipped, it wasn't me. Because I wasn't even touching anything. Okay. Yum. Looks like a small chunk of overcooked fish with undercooked rice. Ugh. This uh, music's pretty epic, though. Which makes me think we're about to transition, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little break.